Hi, Jeff Lawton here. I receive emails every day. Please for help. People asking for permaculture design solutions. And we offer people consultancy, advice, and help wherever we can. But I don't often get an email like this. This is a tragedy in modern times. In an age where we should really understand the significance of biosphere reserves that are unique. This is a plea from Los Cedros. Now the first work that I did overseas, my first engagement as a permaculture teacher was in Ecuador working for the Rainforest Information Center. Part of our work 25 years ago was to save a very, very unique part of the world on the western slopes of the Andes. And today, this is the only significant biosphere reserve on those slopes, the only significant tree cover, and it's extremely special. It is the most biodiverse ecosystem you could ever imagine. And I encourage you to watch the Los Cedros video and, and see the level of significance. And in modern times, with modern information and the internet, we should all realize the significance of something like this, because it is one and only. If this disappears, it's gone forever. You may get upset about the last elephant, the last tiger, the last whale, individual species of significance, but this is a whole ecosystem that's absolutely unique, cloud rainforest with the most biodiversity of birds in the world, the largest number of endemic species in Ecuador, more than half the birds in Ecuador, 13,000 plant species, ridiculous numbers of living elements, perfectly clean water. This is an example of how ecosystems remain stable, fertile, have continuous soil creation with fertility continuously maintained. Everything that we need to know in the future is going to come back to the understanding of biological systems. Biology is the future security of this planet. We cannot let a biosphere reserve like this get taken down as is proposed for mining, for a mining company, which is finite resource exploitation. This is one of the tropical refusion sites of the world. In the last ice age, the tropics retreated to about 36 different sites around the world. This is one of them, and the only one that's in full pristine condition that we can study, understand, and look at the lessons that we need to understand from such complexity, from such intricate living examples, not just the species importance, but the functional importance. If we are going to exist on this earth in harmony with living systems and learning from living systems so we can supply ourselves with clean air, clean water, clean food, sensible housing, warmth, friendship and community, it starts with understanding that these places are precious and the very last few that are left on earth need to be preserved for our children, for ourselves, for our children, for the future generations. You cannot recreate this. This is not just a national treasure. This is a global treasure. When we look at the tropical regions near the equator. There are no successes really in agriculture. The FAO of the United Nations admit there's never really been any successes in the wet tropics with agriculture. Palm oil, it's not really a success because two growth periods of 30 years and it's all over and massive areas are going into singular species of palm plantation. We know the lessons we need to learn are from places like Los Cedros, 
How does all that life exist in permanent, fertile ecosystem reproduction, replication? How does that work? That's the lesson. It's a polycultural example of productivity in a living form, in existence, something we can study and understand. From there, from, uh, from there, and only systems like this, and there's so few left, can we learn how to permanently produce systems that are beneficial to us and beneficial to all life forms with design. But the teacher, the lessons we need to learn are from places like Los Cedros. So we need to look at what is possible here as a unified effort. We need people to write letters. We need people to sign the petition. We need people to donate to support legal costs. So this can be challenged and saved forever and, and extended. The lessons that we will need to know will disappear forever if we don't do this. You can find all the information you need, the addresses, where to send letters, the petition to sign on the website permaculturenews.org. There's no reason to let this happen, none whatsoever. This needs to be saved and we need to engage in the process.